Hey Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man, welcome back to another grocery haul video. So I know we have not did a grocery haul in probably about three or four months. The reason why we have not did a grocery haul or posted any food is because after our seven deadly sin series, I began to focus on myself and I needed to get gluttony in order. So I don't have a problem with overeating and I know how to eat healthy, but it's just you know all of the other things i was eating and eating so frequently so we're back and i'm just working on portion control and my problem was just snacking so the chips was a big problem for me but we don't have to worry about that so i did want to share with you some things that i got from the grocery store i went to walmart so i did get me some spring water and then also i like to get these kombucha health aids because it's really good for the stomach probiotics and then i got some organic honey i'm going to put that on my fruit and it's gonna be my first time trying organic honey, but I got that, so we're gonna see how that tastes. And jackfruit. I keep hearing people talk about jackfruit, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. Um, this is a frozen kind, and I guess you just mix this with your other fruit. So we're gonna give that a try and see how that is. We'll be back with another video just to see how that works. Then I also have some coconut chunks. I have me some fresh basil for a salad, some mint for the water also. Then we have some ginger here. I will be eating that ginger raw and then sometimes also putting that in with my fruit. I have cucumber, red onion, and I got these little immunity shots, has vitamin C in them, pineapple juice. And I also got a coconut. I'm gonna be mixing some coconut with probably some lemon. I have some aloe vera for my skin. I got two of those. Finally, Walmart got the aloe vera now. I recently just found out that Hidden Valley Ranch has a plant base and they have an organic i tried the organic the organic was very delicious but now i'm going to try the plant base i also have three avocados a bag of granny smith apples i have some bell peppers some tomatoes and i seen these so i wanted to give them a try a little viral snack i've been seeing um these just have it says wild alaskan seafood and creamy avocado so i want to just assume maybe have like some imitation crab or something in there that may be wild caught also i have some kiwi back there and pickles so pickles is a really good fermented fruit but we're going to do a video about that i'm going to tell y'all what happened to my ankles because all of that snacking and all of that sodium is not really good so i try to stay away from pickles like that but i did get this small bag right here and then I have this, see, I'm even buying stuff in smaller portions because this is going to help. But I have this small bag of garlic chicken back here and then also I have some okra. So I'm probably going to mix that together or make some okra soup. In the sink, I have an onion. I have a couple of oranges, lemon, lime, and a grapefruit. Got some baking soda on that, cleaning that skin. And then I also have some colossal shrimp. So with the shrimp, I might just eat that by itself. That is going to be all. So I want you to come back and join me later in the short section where I will be dropping what I'm eating. What I'm trying to do is intermediate fast. So I only eat three times a day and then that way my body can digest. Like the more you eat, the more you raise your insulin resistance. The more you raise your insulin resistance, the more your body doesn't have the defense to actually fight off and keep your blood and sugar intact at a balance. So the insulin helps to keep your blood and sugar at a balance. When you keep eating and you're overeating and you're not eating the right things, you don't give your body that time to actually digest. So then this is where your body is not even absorbing the nutrients. It doesn't matter if it's healthy or not, if you're gonna keep overeating. So what you have to do is you have to eat healthy then you have to wait like six hours, let that digest, let that go in and do what it needs to do, fill the nutrients where it needs to be filled. Then you wanna go and eat again, but you wanna stop eating so frequently. So that's what I'm working on. Right now I'm eating at 12 o'clock, 3.30, and I try to make six o'clock my last meal, so I do not try to do any like snacking or anything like that. But if I do wanna snack on something, it might be like a fruit, but I'm trying to stay completely away from the snacking at all. So that's what I'm working on, just eating it three times a day um, at those times and really just portion control. So Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man, we will be back in the short section. I'm gonna show you what I have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. I love you. Be sure to watch that seven parts series and also make sure that you're cautious with what you're eating you're not eating so much and just do what you have to do to work on you know that spirit of gluttony we see that happening a lot out here we see a lot of other people talking about it and we see the mukbangers mukbangers look i can't even talk <laughs> you are not a mukbangers like this one mukbanger just passed away so we really got to be careful what we're eating and how much we're eating again so it's a lot going on i just want to control my body you can control yours too i love you god bless you and i'll see you in the next video Mwah.